What's going on guys, it's Blue Hunters, and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to install the RPCS3 on your ROG Ally. I have the Z1 Extreme version, but it works the same way. This also works on your desktop, it's literally the same exact step, so if you want to follow on your desktop, you can do that here. But before we get into it, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you found this video helpful, and let's get into it. I'll leave links in the description for everything you'll need for this setup. Um, I like to do everything on Chrome, which you'll have to install on your, your Ally before we get started, or you can do it on Edge or whatever your browser you use. But I like to use Chrome. If you want to do everything like I do, I have Chrome. But first thing you want to do is go to the RPCS3 website, and you'll obviously want to download the emulator from the website. We click download, you scroll down to Windows, and you'll hit download. See it downloading in the top right. Now what we'll want to do is extract this folder. And what I like to do is make a folder in my desktop and name it the RPCS3. And then I could keep everything in one location that's easy to find. So do that real quick. All right, now we have everything in that folder. So the next thing we'll want to do is head over to the PlayStation Store or their website. And then we're gonna have to go into support, hit hardware, go down to consoles, and then we will select the PS3. Then we'll want to do is system software update, hit that, and we'll do update using computer. Go down, a little awkward with the uh, RPCS3 scrolling, but it, it does the trick, it's alright. Keep scrolling down until you see update using computer again. And then what you want to do is either right click if you're on PC or use the right trigger and then you'll hit save link as. Once you hit that, save it and then you got to add the period and PUP at the end of this file name. Really important. If you don't do this, it won't work. Kidding. I have no idea, but do it anyways. All right. And you'll see that. It didn't download yet, so go up there and click keep, and then it should download for you. Now you have that in there, and also what I like to do is in that RPCS3 uh, folder I made in the desktop, I like to make a firmware folder inside of that, and then that's where I put this file in, so then again, everything is in one spot. So let me do that. So there is that firmware folder that I just made and I'm gonna just make a new tab where I put that that pup file and then I'll just drag it over to the RPCS3 and then drop it in the firmware folder there it is so now all the downloads are done minus the games which I won't show you how to do that on video um, because pirating is illegal and I'm not going to show you how to do that. But don't ask. You can join my Discord and I will gladly help you, but please not in the videos. All right, so now we're going into that RPCS3 folder and opening up the actual RPCS3 app. It's going to do that little pop up and just hit run, anyways. And this is all optional if you want to create a desktop shortcut or any of these it's optional you'll have to hit the agree check mark in the middle and then don't show again if you don't want to see this pop up again all right and now we're in the emulator so first thing we'll have to do is go up to file 
and then we will install the firmware so we'll just go into that file we made put the firmware in it and we open it go in open that fold or file download it okay and then you hit refresh oh wait after this part we'll hit refresh all right sorry that takes a little bit so i had to fast forward through that now we'll hit refresh so we can see the actual software up on the emulator and then we want to open that up so you can just double click it and then it will run through these again they're all different i promise All right, so before we do anything, we'll have to go press this button and go into desktop mode, get our mouse back, and then um, we'll have to configure our pads, click pads, and for the ROG Ally, it uses X input, so we'll click that. If you're using a PlayStation controller or an Xbox controller, well, for Xbox, it's X path, and PlayStation, I'm pretty sure it just labels what it is. Then you'll just save that and then we can go back into the game or into the actual sony interface and then we'll continue the setup but first we got to go back into gamepad so we can actually use our controller and we will continue with the setup and i'm just going to skip this part because it's not very essential to setting anything up All right, when you get to the internet section, you can just hit back and you can hit back here as well. And then you should see the PS3 interface load up. It does stutter a little bit, but it's okay. Because we don't actually use this, we just had to get it. So we can go ahead and close this. So we'll have to go back to desktop mode and then we'll X out of this. Now we're back in the emulator. Just hit refresh just in case. And now we can add our games. So go to add game and um, take you, I already have a, a folder that is labeled PS3 games and I already have games in it. Well, a game in it just for the tutorial. Again, I can't tell you how to get the games, but if you join my Discord, uh, I'll definitely help you out. So, crashed. Great. But I do recommend restarting the emulator after you finish that Sony setup and then adding games because it most likely will crash. I'm pretty sure it did on my PC. But yeah, go to add games and my PS3 games, and then you just select the whole the whole folder with the game in it i don't know why i selected uh the preloading cache because this took forever so i'm going to skip this as well that's done just hit okay if you did that way then you'll hit okay but now you're able to just open up the game go over to it double click or you can just hit play up top and it will load I accidentally yeah do you double double click the screen to go full screen and then you can go ahead and go back into gamepad and 
able to play the game right after this loads. Head and hit A or X, whatever you have, Xbox controller or PlayStation controller. And here it is. Here is some gameplay of NC AA 2013. Definitely is a throwback. I forgot to record the sound, but here is the gameplay. Um, I'll just skip to me actually playing way soon. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Again, you can do this on your your ROG Ally or your PC. It both works the same way. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments. Uh, join the discord if you also have any questions and yeah just enjoy the gameplay and i will see you guys in the next video